Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to look at different ways that we can share folders on Windows Server. I have four folders we're going to be working with, data one through data four. We're going to look at a different method for each one. First method, I'm going to right click on the folder and bring up its properties. Sharing tab, click on advanced sharing. Since I'm not logged in with the administrator account, I have to authenticate with a user that is allowed to perform this function. And I now have the sharing tab up. Click on share this folder. That's really all I have to do, except I want to modify the permissions. Clicking on the permissions button shows that by default, everyone has read. That is not best practice. Best practice is that everyone has full control on the share. Click on allow for full control, OK, OK to create the share. And we can see here the network path for accessing that share via the UNC name. That's really all we have to do for that. Click close. That is now shared out. One of the other methods we have available to us to create a share, which I'll demonstrate on data two, is using the folder sharing wizard, which is included as part of server manager. Pull up server manager. Click on File and Storage Services and Shares. Here we have the ability to create shares as well. You can see Data1, which we just previously shared out. Right click, New Share. We're going to create an SMB share so that the storage service is available for Windows to consume. We'll do Quick. Say Next. I can choose either one of the volumes, which will create a folder called Shares, and then share that out from the root of the volume, but I want to use data two. I'll select type of custom path. I can either enter the path or I can browse out and select whichever folder I want. Already done that. Exactly the same information as if I just typed it in. Click on next. I can set things like the share name. We'll be told what the local path is and what the UNC is to get to the data once it's been shared out from the network. Not going to worry about these other settings right now. Uh, just for information, allow caching of the share means that if I'm using offline access for users, they'll be able to get access to this particular resource. And then also, if I want to protect the data while in transit, we can encrypt the data access. Access-based enumeration we'll look at in more detail a little bit later. Click on Next. I'm not going to change any permissions, but one thing I do want to illustrate if we look at the share permissions, we have everyone full control, whereas if we go through the sharing tab with the properties for the folder, it starts off with everyone as read only. Just a little bit of a difference in the way that works. So going through the wizard, we already have best practice set. Click on next and create. That creates the share. Here it is here, and that is now ready to consume over the network. Another method that we have available to us is a command that's been around for quite a long time that we can run from a command prompt or from within PowerShell. Let me get rid of these two windows and I'll pull up a PowerShell prompt. That command is the net share command. I'm going to use this to share out data three. Okay, explain out the command that I just put in. The command is net. The functional option is share. The share name is going to be data three. That is going to be applied to the path e colon backslash data three. And then I'm going to grant users everyone, meaning all users. And then the permission for that is going to be full. Just hit enter. That is shared out successfully. If I want to see that that is done, I can say, Net share that will show me all of the shares on this particular system. And here is data three. If I want to see what permissions are applied to that, I can use the net share command again, but specify the share that is already existing. I can there see the permission is everyone has full control. Let me clear the screen before we go to the last one. The last method I want to demonstrate for sharing a folder is using PowerShell. OK, 
Okay, let me uh, explain the commandlet. The commandlet is called new SMB share. Obviously, we'll be using the SMB protocol. The name of the share is going to be data4. The path is going to be to e colon backslash data4. Full access is the permission I'm going to grant to everyone. Enter, that's done. So we're now sharing out that folder as well. Four different ways to share out a folder using Windows Server. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this was helpful for you and we'll see you next time.